the countries that have a more open attitude towards teenage sexuality and in fact some of the countries that have lower ages of consent the young people get involved in sex later and they also have much lower teenage pregnancy rates the problem we have in this country is that we still have this kind of fantasy about young people and we, we live in a, a world of uh, wish fulfillment we, you know they're, they're doing it and we need to be able to engage with them we need to be able to support them in protecting them well can't teachers uh, do ways. that already or no. healthcare workers do that it's, it's really it's up to them to um, use their discretion if a 15 yeah. year old or a 14 year old comes to them and says look I'm having sexual intercourse I need some help they're not going to turn them away are they simply because the age of consent is 16 well except because it's it's 16 it, it, there's an ambivalence and an ambiguity about it which means it makes it more difficult for teachers and those in daily contact to give them clear signposting about where they can go to get help but you're raising another issue here as well which is we need to put more resource into sexual and relationships education in the schools and we need to professionalize it so that it's really well done uh, and you know the negotiation of your first adult relationship in your mid-teens sometime is something that will set the record for the rest of, of your life and at the moment youngsters are getting the most incredible messages from pornography from social media what we're seeing is um, more physical abuse and mental abuse in, in relationships we're seeing uh, very strange expectations from that are coming from pornography about what to expect from relationships and this needs to be corrected it needs to be corrected by being able to have open discussions uh, you know in, in a sensible environment